Emmanuel All Nation Anglican Church is one of the ENCCI church that reach out to the migrants of Kenyan descent in America. It is an interdenominational where all Christians from diverse Christian traditions are welcome. As such, the church has been inspired by its vision and mission that states, empowered by the Holy Spirit, we preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to all the nations, as enshrined in Matthew 28 verses 19. 18 and 20 Bath of Emmanuel Church Emmanuel Church started as an online fellowship by a few Christians who sought to worship the Lord in truth and in spirit in March 2020 under the stewardship of Reverend Dr. George and Rachel Kerry The initial membership of the church was five families and however with the time this quickly attracted other members to an extent that the online fellowship got a widespread following from Washington state to other states particularly Massachusetts to all the way back to Kenya From online fellowship the members resolved to officially be having Sunday services though conducted online due to the COVID-19 pandemic that was at peak at that moment they saw the christians having their well attended service for the first time where emmanuel hit the ground and boldly started giving spiritual nourishment to its members this service was unique and its own kind for it was graced by reverend captain timothy duarte from st andrews anglican church raleigh north carolina who shared a powerful message the christians continued to share the word of god online until 2020 august when they felt there is a need to have physical meetings because the church had no rented premises the families of the reverend dr and mrs george kiery and mr and mrs moses maura opened their doors for the fellowship to be conducted at their residence this was a great leap forward towards securing a physical meeting place the first service was a holy communion service and we were privileged to have reverend david mariga breaking the bread and sharing the word of god to us As the number of Christians grew, the rectors and the steering committee saw the need to have the first interim church council. It was formed and it comprises of six officials out of the pioneer members and the photo below captures the first Emmanuel Church Council. By December 2020, the church council and the vicar resolved to move from the house to a rented premises. By God's grace and through the auspices of our council members, we secured a space to rent in Nueva Vida Church premises at the address 1500 South 336th Suite 2 Federal Way Washington 98003. We were given the morning hours from 8 a.m. until 10:30 a.m. and these hours eventually became our official worshiping time. How did we grow from here? Emmanuel Church has experienced immense growth and the following ministries have led the way in serving God among the Christians. Some of these ministries are the Emmanuel Men in Action, Women Ministry, Ushering, Youth Ministry, choir known as Emmanuel Angelic Voices, The Pillars. For holistic growth, Emmanuel Church has various pillars that enable it to stand firm. Some of these pillars are finance, which is the backbone of the Christian ministry, pastoral team for spiritual nourishment, mission that enable Emmanuel Church network and collaborate with like-minded ecclesiastical groups promoting the gospel of Christ to all the nations. We also have the pillar of communication and outreach through social media such as Facebook Live under the name Emmanuel Anglican Church. Some of the past events include official inauguration of the Emmanuel Church in February 2020 by our spiritual father, the most revered Dr. John Gidega. The event was also graced by our archdeacon, then Dr. Joseph Gatungo, House of Clergy. Of the time The Emmanuel Church has opened its arms to visiting clergy. They had been a great inspiration and blessings to our church. As Emmanuelians, we are grateful to Reverend Dr. Simon Kingori. Your powerful message still fresh in our hearts. To Reverend Mary Mongi, your passion for Christ and more so his power of resurrection amazes us. 
whenever we think of you. We are grateful to God for this far.